Hey guys, so it's February 18th and um, just a day or two ago I got an email about a new uh, feature for images that I just want to quickly show you guys. Um, so if I actually go ahead and try to add an image block here, um, where's the image? Right up here. And I'll just pick a random image probably on my desktop. There we go. So what you'll see is this is what the normal image uh, screen used to look like. Now you're going to actually see a new tab called design. Um, so if you actually go ahead and go to design, you have a few ways to actually add text before uh, on top of the image or beside the image. Before, what you would have to do is you would have to either use a comment here or add an image to the side. Now, the biggest problem with that was, let's say I had two images. So I'll just upload the same image twice. And then let me get rid of captions. So, I mean, this is a feature that I've, I've kind of wished was here for a while now and it's finally here. So let's say you had a picture, I'll just put in test. Okay, so let's say you had a picture of somebody that works for you here and then a little bio about them here. And then let's say you do the same thing underneath because you have maybe two or three or four employees. So let's go ahead and put this in and you had it to the left, right? So you have one person here, then one person here. You can even put like a divider, um, which I want right now. Um, and then you hit save, right? So it would look good. Actually, it might, it might look a little bit better if I actually put more text here so you can see what it's going to look like. There we go. Okay. So now, ideally, it would show picture, text, and then this picture, text. This is what people would kind of, uh, that are on the website would see. Now, let's say if they came on a mobile device, they would actually see picture, then text, then text, then picture, which is weird because, like, you're seeing the bio for a person, too, and their image is down here. So that's um, that's something that I've always wished uh, was different, and now it is. So let me show you what it does now. So let me go ahead and make this uh, a card. And we can get rid of this because the text is included here. So right here. So we can make it John Doe sells um, peanut, peanuts on the street. Just, just kind of uh, playing around here. And let's go ahead and go here and make this a card as well. Okay, and then we'll get rid of this text because once again, text is included. And we'll make this Jane Doe. And she buys peanuts on the street. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to design for that image. And we can change the image position to right. So now this is what it looked like before as well, right? Except now when you go on mobile view, it's uh, picture, then the text, and picture, then the text. So it's how ideally it should be set up. Now I do realize that the text is a little bit small there. So you can go into design, style editor, give that a second to load. And then what we're gonna do is actually just click right here and we can change the image block subtitle font, not the, uh, not the page text, but the subtitle. And we'll make it maybe, I think the rest of my page probably 17, maybe it's 18. Let's see. The rest is 18 and 1.6, okay. 18, wait, did I see that right? It was 18, right? Yep, 18 and Adobe. So let's use the same font to see if it looks the same. Still looks kind of small, so you might actually have to go bigger than, so there might, there must be some sort of, uh, something going on here. But that's okay, we can just make it a little bit uh, bigger. So it's 400 normal. 0, 1.6, 0, 1.6, 18, 400 normal. Okay, so still looks a little bit smaller than the rest, so I'm actually gonna boost it up to maybe 20, or even 20, yeah, there we go. So that looks about the same size, so we'll leave it there. Uh, they must be applying some sort of um, CSS to this as well. I'm not gonna bother too much, but it doesn't look uh, like too different. So next what we'll do, I'll show you the other options we have here. So under design, we also have inline. So this is just like it was before. So you have the, the caption over here. So hello, something like that. Um, then we have poster, which is really cool because um, this actually appears for, uh, helps with your SEO because now it's not just a picture that somebody photoshopped words onto that search engines can't crawl. This search engines will actually see that there's text on top of this image. So, it, it, you know, it can be used to describe the image or just like I'm using right now, maybe a picture of John in the background. Um, then a card is what I showed you. Overlap. So I believe overlap. Um, 
It's probably overlapping for me, so we'll come back to that. Maybe if you add a lot of text. Yeah, there you go. So if you add a, a lot of text. Okay, and then collage. I like the look of this as well. And then we have stack, which is pretty much what it was before, where it's just images stacked one on top of each other. And yeah, so again, captions, you can, um, where's card? And then yeah, you pick the position that you want the images. So yeah, it's a really cool feature. It's called blocks two, or image blocks 2.0. Um, you guys might not see it on your Squarespace yet. Um, I mean, as of February 18th, I think it's still for just people who are part of the Circles program. Um, but it, is, it will be coming up probably in a, a few days. So um, if you're seeing this video and you don't see it, that's probably why. Don't worry, it'll be here soon. Okay?